Information and Communication Technology, or ICT, has been a great help in the development of Information Age. It played a big part on the innovation and integration of different technologies that brought social changes. Social change is defined as the alteration of mechanisms characterized by changes in cultural symbols, rules of behavior, social organizations, or value systems. Advocacy as defined by Merriam-Webster is the act of supporting a cause or proposal, the act or process of advocating. Today, the adaptation and improvement of the technologies can now serve as a platform for solving local and global issues through an advocacy. These include solving of gender equality, economical, agricultural and industrial problems, government accountability and transparency, educational dilemmas, crimes, religious conflicts, climate change, and more. In terms of ICT usage, one of the most used by the people today is the social networking sites, or simply social media. It is the collective online communication channels dedicated to community input, interaction, content sharing, and collaboration. Since it caters a wide range of possible user interaction, the social media is broadly used to connect and communicate with the global community. For that reason, the social media can also be used to address an advocacy online. ICT projects range from community improvement to larger economic development. Around the world, there are a wide variety of projects that incorporates the use of ICT for improvement. Projects for the communities are products of research before implemented. These undergo with the process of inquiry, investigation, and deep analyzation for the needs of assessment. The following are the steps on how to make your own ICT project through social advocacy. Research is essential whether you love it or hate for there is a real urge for it. Every day, we undergone with different problems and dilemmas in life and finding their solution. Sometime it is hard and takes time when research is needed. According to Western Sydney University, research is defined as the creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new and creative way so as to generate new concepts, methodologies, and understandings. This could include synthesis and analysis of previous research to the extent that it leads to new and creative outcomes. On the other hand, research skills are our ability to find an answer to a question or a solution to a problem. Research skills also include the ability to gather information about the topic. We have to review that information, analyze, and interpret the information in a manner that brings us to a solution. Research makes you wiser on the decisions you make in life and gain more experiences and set of knowledge as you go through different findings and conclusions during the process of research. To be exact, the more research you conducted, the more things you can do in life. That is why research is a must in delivering innovation, integration, promotion, and to build change to a society or community. With this, learning the basic of research skills are essential for the 21st century in making life more convenient and smarter. These consists of identifying the current trends, demands, working formats, as well as the popular authors and topics. All the relevant information may help you in your research study. As part of the research for content in social advocacy, it requires several aspects to be taken into account. One of this is the proper background research of your proposed ICT project by translating your own made concept paper into an infographic. In creating your ICT project, it is also important to take consideration about your targeted audience that is why audience profiling must be done.
Audience profiling is the process of defining exactly who your target audience is by unifying and analyzing their behaviors across multiple platforms and touchpoints. In this project, you need to consider the demographics and psychographics of your intended audience. Demographics is one of the methods in audience profiling that defines not only the population of your audience, but also the work that they do. It also tells where they live, their gender, age, income level, religion, ethnicity, education level, and knowledge level. Psychographics is the classification of people according to their personal characteristics, lifestyle, attitudes, social class, aspirations, values, tastes, activities and interests, and other psychological criteria. You can only effectively reach your target audience when you really comprehend both of their demographics and psychographics. The amalgamation of information you get from there will be your stepping stone for making them involve and to get their interest about your proposed ICT project. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, an infographic or information graphic is a visual representation of information or data. But the sense of an infographic is something to be more specific and gradually represented. An infographic is composed of set of collection of various imagery, charts, and text that gives an easy to read and easy to understand synopsis of a certain topic or issue. Infographics has a wheel to present a multifaceted data into a short and concise idea, making information easy to digest, educational, informative, and engaging. Infographics has also been broadened along different industries and institutes around the world. It becomes a strong means of communication tool for businesses, governments, health and wellness, educational institutions, and many more.